Next, we take a look at the overridden on save instance state method, which we are overriding from the default one in the activity class. Now, again, this method is going to be called anytime the app's configuration changes. So, again, for example, from portrait to landscape or vice versa. And also, if the app um, winds up getting put uh, into the background because of something like a phone call or a text message coming in, etc. Now, when those things happen, we want to make sure that we save the current bill total and custom percentage values so that as the app uh, gets restored to the foreground, those values will be properly maintained in the tip calculator app. Now, uh, you can certainly type this uh, app or this method, excuse me, by hand if you would like, but it turns out that Eclipse has a nice handy feature for helping you override a method that you've inherited from your base or super class. So if you go to the source menu here, you'll see the option for overriding or implementing methods and this is what we used to create on save instance state in this case and the way we did is we just went down to the method that we wanted to override so let me just scroll down here so you can see it uh, actually it's not showing up because it's already overridden in this case so uh, what I could do for example is if I wanted to override on start I can check that here at which point it will allow me to click OK and insert that method at whatever point I've specified in my code so just to uh, reiterate let me go ahead and cut this method for a moment and the way I generated this is I said source uh, override or impl implement methods then I went down to on save instance state which now shows up because it's not in my code at which point I checked it and I w went ahead and clicked OK to insert that in the code. Now I'm going to go and undo my cut operation since I already have the final version of it on the screen. Now this method is pretty straightforward as with any of the lifecycle methods from class activity you must call the super classes version and by the way if you do not and you try to install your app onto an AVD or onto an actual device and then try to launch the app it will actually generate a, an error message and prevent the app from executing so you must call the super class version of every activity lifecycle method that you override in your activity classes. Now in this case you can see that the method receives as its argument a bundle in which you will then place the data that you want to save and it's called out state by default and we're using the put double and put int methods as uh, the methods to place values into the underlying hash table like data structure so for the bill total we would like to associate with that the double called current bill total and for the custom percent we would like to associate with that the integer current custom percent so that method is relatively straightforward but simply by implementing this in your code you get a little bit more robust of an application so that when the user does um, have configuration changes or the app is getting restored from the background in fact you are able to redisplay for them whatever bill total they've pre previously entered or whatever custom percent they've previously selected